Hello friends, uh, let us solve problems based on the uh, pile capacity in groups. First, read the given data. What is given? A square pile group of 9 piles penetrates through a length of 10 meter depth. Pile diameter is 0.3 meter and spacing is 90 centimeter. Uh, find the pile capacity. So, how they are arranged in 9 piles? They are arranged in a square group. So, let us arrange these 9 piles in a square form. So, if you arrange in a square form, how they will look like? Along each row or column, you will get the 3 piles, total 9. So, what about the spacing between them? Center to center spacing between them, given 90 centimeter. So, first of all, find out what is the total width of this square B. B, as if you remember the formula, that is nothing but a x minus 1 into s plus d. How many number of piles are there in a row? 3 minus 1 into spacing, if I represent in meters, 0 0.9 plus diameter is 0 0.3. So if you solve this, you are getting the width of the square pile group is 3.1 meter. So uh, how can I find the pile group capacity? So that will be nothing but a First, let us find out what is the individual pile capacity. That is nothing but a Q I individual pile capacity that will be equal to what is the formula? C N C N C is not, nothing not given nine. C is given as a direct line writing uh, as we are fractured so many problems direct line writing nine into four into uh, whatever the area pi by four into zero point three square plus alpha is how much zero point seven five into c is again 4 into pi into diameter 0 0.3 into 10. So if you solve this, we will get around 30.8 tons. This is for single pile. So what about the all piles? That means QZ that will be equal to n into QI. Total number of piles are 9, 9 into 30.8. So if you solve this, we are getting around 277.35. So this is based on the individual pile group, isn't it? So this formula is based on the individual pile group. What about based on the uh, block shear failure? Let us say the block shear failure, let us represent with QGB. That will be equal to, again, what about the C value? For NC value are considered as a 9. Now, what about the end bearing area? What about the width of the square? 2.1. So, here it will be 2.10 whole square plus. What about the surface area? 2 into the surface area as it is a square, it is nothing but a 4 into B into L. 4 into B is how much? 2.10 into length is how much? 10 into alpha is considered as a 1. And what about the cohesion? Again, that will be nothing but a 4. So if you solve this, we will get this around 494.7 tons. So which is the least value? So the least value is nothing but a ultimate capacity. That means group pile capacity that will be equal to smaller of group capacity, individual piles or uh, group capacity for the block shear failure. What is the least value? 277.35. So the ultimate capacity that is nothing but a 277.35 tons based on the individual pile share failure. Okay. Thank you.